Well, new developments in Donald Trump's defamation trial. There were fiery moments in the courtroom today as a federal judge scolds both Trump and his attorney several times. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in the courtroom sitting just feet away from the defense table. Jean Carroll was called to the witness stand and told the court, I'm here because Donald Trump assaulted me, and when I wrote about it, he said it never happened. The former president shook his head, no. I'm here to get my reputation back. Now I'm known as the liar, the fraud, and the whack job. The jury of seven men and two women will decide how much money Mr. Trump must pay Carroll, if any at all, for comments he made in 2019 while president, denying he sexually assaulted her. A judge already ruled the comments defamatory. After Trump's public comments about her, emails Carol received and social media messages and posts directed at her from strangers were displayed in court, showing death threats and insults. Back in May, Mr. Trump was found liable by a jury for sexual abuse and defamation in a separate case. She told the court Trump attacked her in Bergdorf Goodman in the mid-1990s and was awarded $5 million in damages. That case focused on comments Trump made in 2022. Attorneys for Carroll stood up and told the judge they could hear comments Trump was making to his attorneys and worried the jury could hear. The judge told him to lower his voice. A second time, they told the judge they heard him say, it is a witch hunt and it really is a con job. The judge said Mr. Trump has the right to be present. That right can be forfeited if he is disruptive and if he disregards court orders. Speaking directly to him, the judge said, Mr. Trump, I hope I don't have to consider excluding you from the trial or at least from the presence. I understand you're probably very eager for me to do that. Trump responded, I would love it. Judge Lewis Kaplan shot back, I know you would. You just can't control yourself in these circumstances, apparently. During cross-examination, Trump's attorney tried to show Carol enjoyed the attention and capitalized on it, going through Carol's employment history, noting that right before her 2019 book came out that included the claim against Trump, she was making much less money than she did in the past. When asked why she mentioned Trump's name so many times during television interviews promoting the book, Carol said it was the interviewers asking her about him. Court will be back in session tomorrow. The former president, though, is expected at his mother-in-law's funeral. Outside of the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Carol's attorneys are seeking $10 million plus other unspecified damages. They say that they want to deter Trump and anyone else from doing it again.